guys, it's your girl T. And if you guys haven't heard, Lee Daniels' highly anticipated film called The Butler caused a lot of controversy these past few days. Basically, one of the media outlets leaked out a picture of Mariah Carey. And here's the picture right here. And as you see, Mariah Carey looks like she's dressed like a slave. She's picking cotton. And a lot of people on the internet, especially Twitter, you know, hood boogers love Twitter, were upset. They felt like Mariah Carey was too light to play a slave. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of these damn tweets, and I will come back with the rest of my commentary. You know, when I saw these tweets and when I heard about the controversy, I thought it was really, really ignorant. At the end of the day, regardless of Mariah Carey is light-skinned, dark-skinned, a slave is a slave is a slave. Just because a light-skinned slave was in the house doesn't mean that she had it better than the dark-skinned slave in the field. And I think that's where a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions. You know, people feel like the slave, you know, in the house had it way better. She was allowed to eat good and wore good clothes and everything else. But she was also getting raped on a nightly basis by the master and possibly the mistress, you know, being forced to do all types of crazy sex acts, you know, so I, I don't think it's any better being in the house than it was in the field. You know, I think a lot of us need to really read up on our history and, and stop with the foolishness and the negativity. I mean, regardless if it was a light-skinned slave or a dark-skinned slave, does that negate the fact that they're still a fucking slave? Like, come on, people. The argument to me was just silly. I don't think her skin tone is really that unrealistic because you have to realize Master was raping a lot of these field slaves. So there was a lot of biracial children all through the plantations. So not all light-skinned slaves were in the house. Just because they were the master's child didn't mean shit. There are stories of the master sleeping with their own children and having babies with their own children. Frederick Douglass and his little brother were brothers and cousins. Their slave master got both sisters pregnant and his brother is also his cousin. So there's a lot of sick shit that went on through slavery. So you can't say because a woman is light-skinned that she necessarily wouldn't have been out in the field picking cotton. Or that a woman was dark-skinned and she wasn't in the house. At the end of the day, it's a slave. I don't understand why the skin tone thing is still such a big deal right now in modern-day America. You know, I just felt like a lot of the tweets were just really, really ignorant. But I understand it's Twitter, and a lot of people just like to go in, a lot of people like to have jokes. So I do understand that part of it. But I think people need to realize that not all the slaves that were in the house were light-skinned, and not all dark-skinned slaves, you know, were forced to work out in the field. They were dark-skinned slaves in the house. They were light-skinned slaves picking cotton. But either way, they were still slaves. I'm sure they would have given anything to be free. So let's not be so ignorant. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the entire controversy. Do you feel like Mariah Carey is too light-skinned to play a slave or a sharecropper? Do you feel like light-skinned slaves were only in the house and they were not allowed to be out in the field and that this is not, you know, this is not a good depiction of what a slave looked like? I mean, this shit is just crazy. Anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the entire situation. All right, deuces.